quick base demo hi guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to be telling you about quick base and how it works so having said that let's just jump into the video so for those of you who don't know what quick base is it's basically a low code platform that helps you build apps or different programs without having the need to do any coding because it'll do everything for you all you need to do is just map it out add a workflow uh, add the things you need and leave it in the hands of QuickBase and it'll do everything for you so so let's just go ahead and get started click on start free trial and just simply sign up and over here just simply enter in your email address and your password and click on next just fill out this uh, form over here, your first name, your last name, your job title, phone number, company, and whatever, and click on start my trial. And once you do that, you can go ahead and start answering these questions if you want to, or you can just go ahead and skip to the trial directly if you want to, or you can just go ahead and answer these some of these, you know, questions that they ask so that they can determine which application F is best for you and how do would you use it so i'm going to click on skip directly to trial and over here this is going to be your dashboard it's very simple it's very easy to use uh if you still get lost or you know you still don't know what to do you have a couple of different demos down below that you can look at so that you guys can you know understand what you're basically doing they have a demo on almost anything and everything so you'll be good to go if you don't know and over here you will have your applications that you will be making or that you have made over here and then over here is going to be your pipeline but as you can see it's still loading up so we'll just uh let it load so i'm basically gonna go ahead and open this up into another tab so that it loads over here while we uh, work over here so let's go ahead and create a new app so to click on create a new app you will have a couple of different options build from a template start from a scratch or import a spreadsheet and then they will turn that spreadsheet data into a new app or import from lucid chart which is also another application so let's go ahead and click on build from a template over here they're basically going to ask you what are you working on marketing organization managing customer relationship servicing your facilities managing projects and stuff like that so let's go ahead and click on managing projects and over here there we go so this is going to be your application over here we'll just get rid of that and this is basically your application so you will have your projects over here which is going to be in a relation with task and which is also going to be in a relationship with documents which is going to you know uh have a record of everything so and uh, your project is also going to be you know related to expenses as well so you can go ahead and edit these fields out so just simply so just simply you know expand this project and you will have your project name over here the description the project manager over here is going to be user and you can add a different you know icon as well so over here as you can see you have your icon as well and you have your status priority date and everything everything is going to be set over here you have your expenses over here currency you have your tasks over here task description pro uh, status priority you can add all of those as well and over here if you want to add something as well so well basically let's go ahead and add a checkbox you know just to have okay i think uh, this ad goes inside yeah those applications so so basically i want to you know have like a another field over here with a list of users so let's go ahead and add that email okay so i can't add that i think i have to i can add those in here uh okay so we already have the users assigned to it so we basically can't do anything else um so let me just go ahead and move it down over here actually and put a table over here there we go so this is going to be a table and i want to like have uh, all of the projects that are completed over here completed projects i'm gonna add that over here and then i'm gonna add another table which i'm gonna add incomplete projects or discarded projects and how do i edit the relationship we'll just simply click on this start button and we'll just simply click over here and select a relation and we will connect it to projects and we'll have it like projects are going to be connected to here creating a relation as you can see 
the relationship has been created now we can go ahead and do the same with completed projects we'll just choose projects and click on create projects now the fields are empty as you can see there's nothing in here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some texts over here we're gonna add a text in here and we're gonna be like project name and we're gonna add another and a checkbox over here but since we have like two different uh you know tables for discarded ones and not discarded ones we'll just add reason and the same can be over here as well we'll go with a rich text and we'll say project name and for and over here we're gonna add uh, date of completion we're gonna just simply gonna remove that actually we're gonna add this and we're gonna add this in text we're gonna be like project name and in date where we'll basically say date of completion yeah i think that's basically it once we've done that we'll just close that up and once everything looks good just simply click on create an app or create app wait a couple of seconds for it to be created and as you can see it's it's done all the coding on its own and over here are going to be our projects this is going to be our application as you can see we have our projects over here status priority start date end date expenses and everything basically all the things that we added in tasks we're going to have all the tasks that we are going to add so as you can key come up with a conference theme create product concept find a new location and stuff like that and in completed projects you're going to have like project name date of completion project name to project manager who was the person who was managing the project and same with uh discarded uh projects project name and you know project manager everything and you can add like a new table to the to this uh application and it just you know use it from uh you can create it like from a scratch design your own table and use connected data connect to an app service or scsv or use a template to see suggestions for a specific app for your program you can do all of these things over here it's very simple it's very easy to use and uh, you can add new discarded projects over here you can add like new new completed projects are going to be over here and everything and over here you're going to have users basically all of the people that are you know uh that you have like all of the all of your use all of your employees or the people that work with you for you whatever you can add them over here and you can manage them and you can assign them different roles as well so which is pretty cool and as you can see it was just that easy to create an application and you can do that with from scratch as well like you can create anything you want using your imagination and over here as you can see uh the pipeline is still loading up i don't know what's taking this so long so i guess we'll just skip it for now for some reason it's not loading up but uh over here everything looks good like in expenses we can go ahead and you know uh check all these up and you know delete them as well or not delete them and we have a total budget over here we can change the amount we can add new expenses by clicking on new expenses and if we click on the settings we can import export or you know relax the spacings or whatever and back at home we get all of our you know application you can over here here's your new app you can click on guide me you will have all of your project uh, customizations user discarded project customize this page or whatnot you have your settings of the project over here as you can see you have you can have the structure you have your roles tables uh, properties and app features and managing and over everything and over here you can change the name of the project the name of the app or the description of it as well it's very simple it's really easy to use and over here you have all of the uh essentials programs that you added into your app so it's pretty cool so as you can see it's really easy to use so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you found it helpful if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications and if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to check them out as soon as possible so having said that I'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye